In this video, I am going to show you how to use the subtotal function in Google Sheets. So the subtotal function is a function that returns a subtotal for a range of cells using the aggregation function that you specify in the formula. So it's actually a very useful function um, that's very versatile. You can use it in a lot of different ways, but it's not very well known. Um, so let's just take a look at the syntax here. There's two arguments. The third argument is optional. Um, the first argument is the function code. Um, the function code is the aggregation function that you want to use for your subtotals. So you, what you're basically doing is putting in a number um, 1 through 11 and each of these codes does this function. So depending on what function you want to use, you'll just be putting that number in. Um, one important thing to note when using these codes is that you can skip hidden values by placing a 10 before the single digit codes and a one before the two digit codes. Um, so if you want to skip the hidden values and use average, you'd put a one or 10 before it, so 101 and 111, so just putting a 1 before the two digit codes. Um, the second argument is the range, which is the range that will be used to calculate the subtotal. And then the um, third argument is optional. You can add additional ranges if you want. So, two important things to note with the subtotal function is that auto filtered rows that are hidden are not used in subtotal calculations and cells that feature the subtotal function are ignored from subtotal calculations. This is very useful for double counting um, which I will show you in a little bit how this kind of works. But first let's just go through the basics here and I will show you how to use this. So I have this sales data and I want to um, use subtotal to find the average, the min, max, sum, and standard deviation. Um, this is all very easy to do with the subtotal function. I will just end up putting in the codes for each of these functions and I can basically use subtotal to return all of this fairly quickly. So subtotal, so the code for average is one and then I'm going to put in my range. And then I'll just copy this down and then change the first argument to the uh, code for each of these. Whoops. So four, this is nine, and this is seven. So you can see with this one formula, um, fairly quickly I was able to return average, minimum, maximum, sum, and standard deviation. So for data analysis this is a very useful function um, because you can kind of do just multiple other functions really quickly to get an idea of what's going on with your data. Um, I only went over um, these five here but again these are the function codes so take a look at these if you want to use different functions with them. Um, now the next thing I'm going to show is um, this note that I went over previously. So cells that feature the subtotal function are ignored from subtotal calculations. This is useful um, because it prevents double counting. So I'll show you in this example. So I have the same cells as the previous example but I have it divided into quarters here. So quarter one, quarter two. So if I want to subtotal the quarters, um, if I use a normal formula like sum here, oops, then if I sum this entire range, um, what ends up happening is I'm basically double counting because I'm counting these and I'm counting this. So you can see it's double counting. Um, subtotal, since the way subtotal works is subtotal calculations 
don't count cells that have subtotal in them. So if I was to use sum with subtotal, which is uh, 9 here, so function code 9 is sum, I can actually do this and not double count. So I'm going to go 9, I'm going to go these cells. So now if I do a subtotal on this entire range, I get 4,682, which is the same. So 4,682, because again, subtotal does not use other cells with subtotal in their calculations. So this is very useful um, for just analyzing data and avoiding double counting. Um, some will double count if you're not very careful on how the formula is set up. Subtotal does not. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it for this video. I just went over the basics of subtotal. There's a lot of dynamic ways you can do it um, with drop down lists to display different data. Um, you can also use it in combination with filtering. So it's a pretty useful function once you get to uh, know how to use it. Just if you have any questions, um, as always, just put them in the comments and let me know and I'll try my best to answer everyone. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.